careful planning and documentation are critical for any business and manager. In this course, we explore the basics of writing business plans for managers. A business plan is a document specifying the details of the business. Studies showed that businesses with a carefully thought out written business plan are much more likely to succeed than those without one. The details of a business plan will vary, but successful business plans generally share several characteristics. They typically do the following. Demonstrate a clear and compelling vision that creates an air of excitement. Provide clear and realistic financial projections. Profile potential customers and the target market. Include detailed information about the industry and competitors. Provide evidence of an effective entrepreneurial management team. Pay attention to good formatting and clear writing. Keep the plan short, no more than 50 pages. Highlight critical risks that may threaten the business. Spell out the sources and uses of startup funds and operating funds. And capture the reader's interest with a killer summary. To understand business plans, you need to understand the three basic choices of legal structures for businesses, the proprietorship, partnership, and corporation. A sole proprietorship is an unincorporated for-profit business owned by an individual. This form is popular because it's easy to start and has few legal requirements. A proprietor has total ownership and control of their organization and can make any and all decisions without consulting anyone. However, this type of organization also has its drawbacks. The owner has unlimited liability for the business, meaning that if someone sues, the owner's personal as well as business assets are at risk. Also, financing can be harder to obtain because business success rests on one person's shoulders. A partnership is also an unincorporated business owned by two or more people. Partnerships like proprietorships are relatively easy to start. Two friends may reach an agreement to start a graphics arts company. To avoid misunderstandings and to make sure the business is well planned, it's wise to draw up and sign a formal partnership agreement with the help of an attorney. The agreement specifies how parties are to share responsibilities and resources and how they will contribute their expertise. The disadvantages of partnerships are the unlimited liability of the partners and disagreements that commonly occur. Finally, a corporation is an artificial entity created by the state and existing apart from its owners. As a separate legal entity, the corporation is liable for its actions and must pay taxes on its income. Unlike other forms of ownership, the corporation has a legal life of its own. It continues to exist regardless of whether the owners live or die. And the corporation, not the owners, is liable if the company gets sued. Thus, continuity and limits on owners' liability are two principal advantages of forming a corporation. The major disadvantage of the corporation is that it's expensive and complex due to all the paperwork required to incorporate the business and to keep records required by law. Regardless of legal structure, businesses with carefully written business plans are more likely to succeed than those without such plans.